Hey all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. Please uh, consider leaving a like on the video if you like to watch this kind of content. And also, if you uh, once you get uh, done watching the video, if you've gotten some value out of it, please uh, subscribe if you're not already. So I appreciate it. Now, with that said, uh, I want to say, first off, thank you to everyone that has have used my referral codes. Uh, in past videos to start playing Atlas Earth. It has helped me uh, along my way to get started in Atlas Earth, so I do appreciate that. And if you're new here and you're looking for a new game to play that you can earn a little bit of money on the side, uh, I would strongly consider Atlas Earth if, if I were you. Uh, I've been playing it and covering it for a little bit over six months now, and I've earned uh, roughly between 110 and 115 US dollars, okay? And this is playing free to play. Uh, a lot of other stuff in the game I've done, played games, done services, surveys, uh, uh, taken advantage of uh, multiple of the programs, but not specifically bought any parcels of land. So that gives you a rough idea of how I'm doing and how you could possibly do as well. Uh, so with that said, if by the end of the video you consider and you want to go ahead and start playing the game, please go ahead and use my referral code in the show notes. Um, and by the time you get to your 11th parcel, you will have gotten uh, 200 free Atlas bucks, which is basically two free parcels, and then I get 100 of it, out of it as well. So you get twice as much as I do, but it helps us both. So, okay, so I appreciate that. Okay, right up front, I've got to admit something. Okay, so this new uh, system came out uh, this week, which is the, let's take a look at the art, the new challenge, monthly challenge system, okay? Uh, we'll go back to that in a minute, but um, it went live a couple days ago, and to be frank, uh, I did a video that day it came out, uh, just to be real here, um, and I went through it, and I, I thought it was pretty good, pretty well going into depth, and I did the math and everything, and then as is usual whenever I do a video, I put it up on uh, YouTube, and then I watch it myself, just to make sure I didn't miss anything, right? Well, as soon as I got into the video, I started considering something I just hadn't even thought about up to that point. And I'm like, oh, if, if, if what I was thinking about was right, then that would change everything and make uh, basically everything I was talking about on the video incorrect. And the assumptions I was making and my general overall opinion um, uh, had changed. So with that said, I immediately took it down. So sorry to all those who were watching the video. I saw a bunch of people watching the video. I'm like, oh, I hate to take it away, but I just didn't want to share uh, incorrect information with you. Okay. And immediately I pinged out to Pharaoh Silver, shout out to Pharaoh Silver uh, of, of the Beer Money Network um, in Discord, uh, just to kind of run this uh, past him and see what his stance was. And I was right. Uh, I mean, I was wrong. <laughs> I clarified with him that I was wrong. So I'm glad I took the video down um, and uh, time intervened. I had to work last night. So, uh, so tonight I am doing this video and uh, there's been a couple days in between. I've been able to digest the charts better, um, and there's been a lot of discussion on Discord and on Reddit, uh, on the official uh, Reddit. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump in and take a look at the new challenge system and um, and hopefully uh, uh, decide, really for me, decide whether I want to go ahead and uh, join the membership um, uh, of the premium side of that, which is $9.99 a month, or if I'm going to go free to play and see what the value there is. And hopefully by the time I talk through it for myself and use myself as an example, you will be able to kind of do the numbers roughly in your head and see if it's worth it for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back over to that uh, first chart. Now, this is the initial chart that they released. And I've got to admit that when I first saw this, I was a little bit... Um, I mean, the information is there, but it's you can read it a number of different ways. So let's go ahead and look at it. And up at the top, you have the bar, which progressively goes from 20 points over to 2,500 points, uh, 20 points on the left over to 2,500 points. And each of those degradations right there indicate a level at which you're going to get a ladder prize. Now, underneath that, you see the free ladder prizes and the line of season pass uh, ladder prizes, okay? Now, just as with the other uh, membership, the Explorer Club, if you uh, join the season pass, then you will get both the season pass uh, awards as well as the free ladder prizes. So 
Just to do an, a quick example here, say for instance, during the month you scored uh, 150 points. Okay, so that's the fourth level. That will bring you over on the free ladder to 12 Atlas Bucks. Okay, so at that point you would have gotten the five Atlas Bucks, the six Diamonds, the 10 Atlas Bucks, and the 12 Atlas Bucks. But if you were a member, you would have also got 20 Atlas Bucks, uh, 25 Diamonds, 30 Atlas Bucks, and 35 Atlas Bucks. So uh, basically, if you are a member, you get both lines of prizes. And uh, it will be available in the app. Uh, everybody's probably noticed a new uh, icon pop up, and it will be much like claiming your wheel prizes uh, in the morning or your daily login prizes. Very similar to that, they've, uh, they've shared art. Um, now, at the bottom, um, they showed the points available uh, for the monthly challenges and how you earn the points. However, this chart was relatively hard to read and there was a number of different ways you could read this and there's a lot of people asking, well, what, what about the levels, etc." So they came and they put out a, another chart which was easier to read. And this is not really a chart so much as a spreadsheet. Um, but this, this spreadsheet shows you exactly uh, how many points you will get for doing various things during the month. And um, they are cumulative, okay? So uh, for instance, uh, the top line is purchase parcels. So if you purchase one parcel, uh, that brings you to level one, and then you look over to the right, and that will get you 40 points, okay? If you go ahead and you purchase more parcels and you get a total of five, then that brings you over to the right and you get 90 points. So that is a total of six. At level three, and we're not gonna read through all these, but I just wanted to give you a good example here. At level three, if you bought 25 parcels, 25 more parcels, then you would score 130 points. And then if you bought 40 more parcels, then you would score 160 points. So rough math says that 65, 70, 71 parcels. Now, as we proceed down, uh, the other items that you can earn points by is booking travel, playing mini games, and then also winning mini games. So you get a certain amount of points for playing a certain number of mini games. And then uh, if you happen to win those, then you get extra points for actually winning the mini games. Okay. Um, next up is complete AMP missions. So here in the States, if uh, you go and use the AMP program, any AMP purchase you make counts as one AMP mission. And you can, you know, extrapolate the numbers to the right. Complete arcade goals. Okay. So each goal within a game is a goal. So anything within a game that you receive a payout for is a goal. So that counts towards your complete arcade goals. So you can see that for level one, it requires two arcade goals during the month and you look to the right and that will give you 75 points. Okay. Next up, uh, redeem virtual rent into Atlas Bucks. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just go in and redeem a certain amount of uh, virtual rent into Atlas Bucks and hopefully try to do it when it's on special and not for the usual 25. Um, when it's on special, it's at 33, the conversion rate. And we're getting down towards the end of the month. It probably won't be until December. But during December, if this is still an option to score points, they're going to have the end of the year deal uh, where you get extra Atlas Bucks for your virtual rent. But that's basically there. So it's pretty easy if you got a little bit of virtual rent. It's pretty easy points to pick up there. Plus, you would get the Atlas Bucks out of it to turn around and buy parcels. Okay. So, and then the next three are badges, state, city, and country badges. Um, then complete surveys. And they made a note with that is... Um, even partial survey completions where you would get the two Atlas Bucks um, count towards the complete survey. So you can have a fully complete survey or you can have a partially complete one where you get the two Atlas Bucks and both of those would count towards the complete surveys uh, challenge. And then we have the boosting. Uh, so you have regular boosting and you have the SRB boosting. And um, each boost hour that you complete counts as one, basically. So 
Boost during SRB uh, for level one requires 15 hours boosted. And then if you go to the right, you see that at level one, you get an extra 15 points for that. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, what I did was I tried to, to be conservative on what I thought I was going to do during November. And keep in mind that these goals uh, to complete this program will change on a monthly basis. They've said they'll change. Obviously, it's the first month. Things are going to be tweaked. Uh, levels are going to be tweaked. They might add some stuff, subtract some stuff. But most of these things you're going to get point for, points for are all the different facets of the game, right? But expect things to change and expect point levels to change. But what I'm, my main point here is that you're going to have to sit down and you're going to have to look at the challenges and see, try to be conservative. Um, and uh, what I wanted to do with mine was not make it so I have to push myself and push myself. Obviously, it's called challenge. Uh, it's not going to be an easy thing to do. Um, I looked at the numbers and there's really no way I'm going to be able to hit 2,500. Okay. So those final goals, those, those, what I consider stretch goals, the, the, uh, legendary upgrade and the badge, um, the free badge, those are just out of my reach. I think they, they put, put them way out of the reach. I understand that these, um, challenges are meant for, uh, basically to push players to spend more in the game and interact more with the game and interact more with the game more frequently instead of letting there be longer periods of time in between purchasing. Right. Um, so I understand this all and I'm not against it. It's their business call. A lot of games do this type of thing. So I'm not against it. I'm just trying to be logical about it and come to, um, just look at my personal play and see if it's going to be worth it for me. Okay, so this is my projection. Okay, so the first item is purchase parcels. I know that in November I'm going to purchase some parcels and I feel very strongly that I can get all 420 points in level four. Okay, now book travel, I'm going with a zero because I'm not going anywhere in November um, and uh, I do not travel that often and I don't have anything planned, so that's zero. Win mini games, I have down for zero. Okay, so um, it's not a secret. I don't like playing the mini games. The mini games are, to me, I understand if you're really good at them, you can earn money, but a lot of it's, it's gambling and I just, um, I haven't been successful with them. So I've got my win mini games down to zero. Now, will it be a pleasant surprise if I play the mini games to earn the points in the next uh, level and then end up winning some? Sure, uh, great, you know. Um, maybe I might find out I like them better. Maybe I might get better at them, who knows. Um, but uh, the play winning ga uh, mini games I have down for 30 points, trying to be conservative. I think I can play some mini games and get to level two, maybe higher. Who knows? But I've got zero for win mini games because I don't have confidence in myself uh, winning them. Uh, like I said, uh, either it's the lag involved or the lag between my brain and my fingers. Who knows? Uh, Complete AMP missions. I'm pretty successful in this. Uh, I do consider myself able to get to level two pretty easily um, without just like forcing myself to go overboard. Um, but I, you know, it's easy for me. To, I usually uh, do one or two AMP missions, uh, just use the AMP program one or two times a week anyway. So I feel good on saying that I can get 320 points out of that. Um, Complete arcade goals. I feel pretty good that I can hit level two, maybe stretch to level three if I'm lucky, uh, if I push it out. But I, I, like I said, I'm just trying to be conservative with these numbers. I feel pretty good. I can get 165 points in a month. Uh, I'm going to be down uh, in November, uh, kind of recuperating from an operation. So maybe I might get a little bit more here playing a little bit more arcade goals. Um, but there's that. Now, redeem uh, virtual rent into AB. I have down for level two. Feel pretty good. Get 90 points off of converting three bucks. Um, pretty easy win there. Uh, and I have my badges down, state, city, and county badges for zero because it is not on my plans uh, for November to buy badges. In fact, I'm in uh, tier, full tier jumping mode uh, for uh, purchasing parcels, and that's my plan. Um, I understand that... Um, uh, maybe part of the reasoning behind giving points for purchasing parcels is they want to encourage people to not tear jump so often and just, you know, buy a parcel after each other. Obviously, they benefit from that because then your rent goes down. Um, but 
I'm sticking to my plan, or uh, should I say I'm sticking to Tasty Wallet's plan because I've been going right off of his uh, playbook. So, uh, but for November, I've got zero for state, city, and county badges. Uh, complete surveys. I feel pretty good on being able to hit level three in complete surveys. Been having pretty decent luck lately. Of course, most of the stuff I've, most of the surveys I've had good luck on here in the states is because it is election time, um, and uh, most of these. Uh, uh, relatively easy win surveys uh, have been, um, you know, politically, even though I'm tired of them, they were pretty easy wins, 10 minute surveys for five or six Atlas bucks. Um, so I feel pretty good that I can hit 385. Uh, who knows? Um, as far as the boost goes, I feel pretty good on hitting all the boosts because I'm pretty good on um, boosting 24 seven during the SRB and also in regular daily boosts. I think I can hit the, the top level as well because I boost, you know, um, more than 20 hours per day on average. So where does that bring me? Okay, so this is what the numbers end up being for me personally. Uh, roughly a little bit over 1,600 points. And 1,600 points, uh, 1,605 to be precise, uh, but who knows, give or take, right? If I make 1,600 points, that's the 12th level, right? So um, the 12th challenge level. Uh, so that will get uh, 184 Atlas Bucks value if I play free to play. If I pay the 9.99 per month, um, and this is disregarding the 14.99 a month. Okay, so if I subscribe, then I will get 834 uh, Atlas Bucks value. And on the right, you see 184 is roughly figured at 920, um, nine dollars and twenty U.S. Uh, whereas 834 is roughly $41.70 U.S. Now, this is figured at the, the lowest level, $1 or $5 per uh, 100 Atlas Bucks. That's what that is figured at. Now, free to play, if I just did what I was going to do on a monthly basis and didn't pay for the subscription, I would earn about $9.20 value, okay? So, and you have to stop and consider that. There's a lot of people complaining on the Reddit and everything, but this is free. This is free, you know? So, um, but if you pay for the premium, you go over and above that, and uh, I figured that I would get a little bit over $30 profit on the month. Hey, uh, Bronze Dragon from the future here. Uh, I had edited this video, sat down, had dinner, came back to it, and I happened to see this uh, message from an announcement in Discord from Mod Manning. And it said, I have some good news and some bad news. Good news is we were executing the challenge. We are executing the challenge, reordering for all countries. But the bad news is if you hadn't subscribed to the 999 subscription for November, that window closed this morning around 5 a.m. Okay, so... In the video, I went ahead and subscribed. I had made up my mind to subscribe. This is the last day of the month. I figured it wasn't November yet. I can subscribe for November. Apparently, I was wrong. If you subscribed, it will be for December, which does me no good because of reasons I mentioned in the video, and you will not be billed until November 30th. If you still want premium from November, you will need to purchase the $14.99 pass, because of course I would. Clarification, if you subbed before that time, if you subbed before uh, the morning of, of uh, October 31st, you already have been billed $9.99 and everything should be set up for you when your season starts. Okay, with this said, I'm uh, eliminating that part of the video where I subscribed, but if you wanna subscribe, you can subscribe on the Atlas Earth website. Um, and uh, I, I removed my subscription and uh, the other takeaway here is don't try to subscribe on the last day of the month. So um, it was going to be worth it for me for November because I planned on purchasing parcels in November. In December, I probably won't purchase parcels. So my score would be much lower. So, you know, uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes from there. Otherwise, back to the normal video or back to the end of this video. I'm subscribed, okay? Now, uh, before we leave this page, I wanted to go ahead and show this. This is the AMP program page. One of the new things that they've announced is that uh, down here at the bottom, the Atlas Earth merch uh, store, you can get six Atlas bucks per $1 spent, okay? So that's a great value. As far as I know, that's the highest value for any uh, AMP merchant. And keep in mind, 
Um, also, a side note on that, if you are outside the United States, I know this is a very limited use case. It's like you want to pick up some merch from Atlas Earth. You want a t-shirt, you want a coffee cup, something like that that says Atlas Earth on it. You can pick it up, make a little bit of Atlas bucks, uh, plus have some swag to wear around. Um, but if you live outside the United States, you can take advantage of this, okay? You can purchase on the Atlas Earth store and you can put a ticket in with the copy of the receipt and what you bought and how much you paid and they will credit you uh through the ticketing system uh so just like like you're having a problem uh, very similar to if you were putting a ticket in for not getting atlas bucks for a game okay but put uh, attach a picture of the receipt and um, they will credit your account so this is the one thing that they've mentioned that you can get atlas bucks for um, kind of through the atlas uh, the amp program if you live outside the united states okay well thanks for joining me if you've stuck it through this long i know i threw a lot of numbers at you and a lot of information but i figured that uh, i needed to look at it and decide for myself and obviously since i subscribed I uh, made the decision um, that it was worth it. I feel that I will be able to, you know, make around 30 bucks extra worth of Atlas Bucks on a monthly basis. Now, will that be every month? No, because every month I don't buy a bunch of parcels of land. Uh, I tear jump and therefore some months I might not subscribe because I don't plan on buying a bunch of parcels of land. Um, so maybe the months that I don't buy land, I just go ahead and cancel my subscription and play free to play. I'm still thinking about that. And obviously I'm going to keep track of everything I earn and how I do during the month of November. And I'll do a video at the end of November, basically with all the details. So we can kind of compare numbers and uh, basically ask you, Hey, how'd you do? And you know, do you think it's worth it, etc. So either way, look forward to that. Obviously that's a month away. I've got some other videos coming up that will be very interesting. So I do appreciate you liking, subscribing, ringing that bell, leaving comments, all those. Um, it's how Halloween here in the US. I'm not really doing anything other than wearing my uh, I'm just here for the booze t-shirt, which I wear once uh, once a year. Um, anyway, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, this has been Bronze Dragon. I'll see you in Atlas Earth.